for sailors that have followed some of these initiatives, uh, intermissions from service, getting rid of and replacing the up or out promotion and just reducing um, turnover overall, they might think they're very familiar to some of the stuff SECNAV, CNO, and CMP have also been discussing. So how are those Navy efforts to kind of reform personnel linked with the DOD larger effort? Well, the Navy is a leader in this. What Secretary Mabus, what the CNO, Admiral Greenert have talked about, are exactly the kind of things we're trying to do across the force. But sometimes the Navy is hamstrung by legislative um, proposals that, that keep the Navy from doing all that it wants to do, and the other services too. So what we're trying to do is restrict, or end some of the restrictions on uh, the law requires to uh, encourage the services to adopt the best practices that the Navy's showing us, and let the Navy know what other services are doing too, such as career intermissions, trying to have innovative programs that encourage women to both join and to stay in the force over time, to encourage people to go to graduate school, where we can have more people across the force who are in, uh, in civilian institutions, which will benefit both those schools and the force. So um, we're closely uh, synchronized with the Navy, and we admire what the Navy's done.